the surprise drama of the unknown. Hello, and welcome to my documentary. I am international award-winning documentary filmmaker, Linda Baron Charles III, and this is my film about the band Electro Cult Circus. What the fuck is Electro Cult Circus? I'll say this, the first three or four times I saw them, I, I don't even think I knew they were a band. And it is a lifestyle, you know, Electro Cult Circus, they're not selling music, they're selling a lifestyle. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they're giving away music and they're trying to sell a lifestyle. Uh, and to be up there playing a drum and having somebody dancing in front of you, uh, mostly naked, uh, is a good feeling. I don't clock in, no. And I just came here to say, fuck E-C-C. -C. Bunch of fucking hippies. Think you're cool because you got ass and titties on stage doing all them dances and shit, man. Fuck that. I hang out with some old bald dude who screams at me in his underwear all day. Well, to get the answer we're looking for, I guess we're going to have to go back in time. In our time machine. The way, the way back, back machine. So what happened at the Duda Parade, and how did it freak out the whole city of Columbus, Ohio? Oh, man. Well, uh, Nick Wallach from uh, Evolved Tattooing and, and Trauma uh, organized uh, a, um, a, a truck pull. We were being pulled on top of the truck, playing music and spreading the good word. The pullers were pulling with hooks that were connected to ropes that were connected to the truck whereon we stood. Yeah, talking about the doo-dah parade. 
2013, uh, the city of Columbus lost their shit. Yeah, people were puking, people were fainting, people were screaming, um, people were really losing their shit. It was, it was a mess. I believe people complained. I mean, that's, if you've oh, yeah. never seen that before, it's a lot. Uh, Nick was banned and so was, I think, pretty much all of Evolved because of that. Uh, it was awesome. I think it's a shame they kicked him out of the dude operate for that. That was a, like, I feel like that's what it's supposed to be about. I remember a lady walking up beside the truck and screaming at us to get out of town like we were terrorists. Whoa! Whoa! about trauma annual halloween fetish party trauma is a fetish halloween festival and it's run by evolved i started going to trauma in the mid 2000s when it used to be, do you remember Sugar and Spice? I have a lot of tattoos from Evolve, Anna Banana did my sleeve. I had uh, some friends that I was going to music festivals with that were really into hooping and I just wanted to do what my friends were doing. And Anna, I performed with Anna at Trauma. It's all really blurry. Is there a lot of alcohol involved and maybe yes. some recreational drug use? What happened in the Electro Lady Land Lounge? More like what didn't happen in Electro Lady Land Lounge, huh? <laughs> right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, bud? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. I do remember. <laughs> I do remember specifically. We're in this room, you're not in this room. We're in this room, you're not in this room. We're in this room, you're not in this room. We're in this room, you're not in this room. But I think, didn't we have like the downstairs? Ah, you were in the lounge with them, huh? Whoa, not the weirdness. <laughs> that yeah. was too much for me. Yeah. So the very first time I did trauma, Electro Ladyland had like all kinds of stuff, um, music, lots of fun. Um, then there was mashed potato wrestling and spaghetti wrestling. Uh, We were, all, we were all drunk, everyone was fucked up, and having a really good time, but during the spaghetti wrestling, uh, Antoinette and uh, Kitty Mystique uh, started throwing the spaghetti, mainly Antoinette, started throwing the spaghetti, and it was very greasy, and people started falling, tripping, slipping, <laughs> throwing it at each other, it turned into a real mess. Yeah. It was fun. I had spaghetti dried in places. Usually wouldn't have spaghetti dried it. It got to the point where when we did the basement, we'd have to have people sign a waiver to come down there. Um, but it was very fun, but super duper dangerous. And that's all I can say about that. So the guy that was gonna wrestle us at first, he had these big ass boots on like all the way up to your your knee like these huge combat boots and he's like it's gonna take too long to unlace them and i'm like dude like you're not gonna come in here and wrestle us with these huge fucking boots on man it's totally unsafe <laughs> and then we end up throwing spaghetti No one ever, no one ever say
What does trauma mean to me? You know what it means to me? Sexy party time. It is sexy yeah. party time. We got yeah. mashed potato wrestling. We have Twister with paint. Uh, we have well, burlesque. Demons. Sex. Sex. I'm called circus basically in sex trauma. Yeah, we're everywhere. Off the record, have you guys ever done psychedelics? Salvatore, Salvatore Porsche, bass player of Electrical Circus. Can I ask you a question really quick about uh, Electro Ladyland Lounge trauma? What was it like? No comment. Please, Salvatore. Please. I was asked to participate in a pillow fight with a few other um, burlesquers, um, Cherie and Betty. They wanted to, I think, cut holes in the pillows. And there were like down feathers in them. <laughs> They just went everywhere, which was great for the ambiance, but we inhaled those feathers and almost died. Almost immediately. Um, but they wanted us to keep going because it was sexy or fun or something, but we were definitely dying. Went back to get dressed for the next probably death stunt and people were doing cocaine off of our costumes. We just have a few seconds of your time, Tony, from Zoo Trippin'. Are you that for guy from ECC with the phone calls and the emails? Do this. You can get the fuck Please, off my Please, it's just going to take a couple... I don't fucking like ECC, man. Please, Tony. How about this, buddy? How about this? Oh, you shit. Get the fuck off my property. All right. Okay. Get the fuck out okay, of here, hey, man. Hey, just calm down. Calm down. Oh, I get you. No, no. Calm down. You want to calm down? Let's calm down, baby. Uh, Let's get oh, real calm. Help me, baby. please. I'm like whenever I can like say ah fuck off let's go just play a crazy show in a weird place and and see how much we can scare the audience uh, so we're in like Charleston West Virginia <laughs> Like that city does not like me or something. Some guy comes on stage, comes out like crotch forward to us in the audience and I, so I just bam him back. Um, and there's a video of that and that's really important. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce my friends the Electrical Circus. to get out of Columbus and go to a place that's cultured. I wanted something new. So going to New Orleans with ECC wasn't just about going to New Orleans for ECC. I was moving down there and I was living out of my car for a period of the time until ECC arrived. Here tonight at the Al Rosa Villa. Yeah. <laughs> What brought you guys into this call? Drugs. Drugs? Yeah. To be 100% honest, a lack of direction and like very low self-awareness. I think we remember it was supposed to snow a little, but then when we came out, it was coming down. Yeah. And, you know, Casey at the wheel 
I mean, I was comfortable with it. I was glad it was him and not me at the time. And he did a heck of a job, but man, I hadn't seen snow like that in years. And I didn't know if we were gonna make it home alive, but if I didn't, I knew I was with good company. Just had a great show, and if you're gonna be in a situation like that, it's always good to have a magician with you. That's right, you can make the snow disappear. <laughs> right. All he did was make that joint disappear, though. So. Yeah. That... He's away and flying. Up, up, out of this world. Where the hell are we? Hey, you found it! Welcome to my home, my tiny home. Do you have any unique memories that stand out to you? There is this one time... <laughs> Vivian Vega of Electro Cult Circus, how did you join the band? Oh, I was um, impregnated into the cult, actually. Tell us what it was like the first time you went to New York with the ECC. Oh yeah, the first time I went to New York City with Electro Cult Circus, I was about seven months pregnant um, and everything smell wise was very pungent um, and that's when Casey decided to fart on a very tight compact stage and it was awful and that's the most memorable thing about that trip in particular. <laughs> Salvatore, Salvatore from Electro Cult Circus. Tell us what it was like in Chattanooga with that stripper. I said no comment. Tell us about Robotron 5000. So the Robotron 5000 was basically a promotional tool that we used to get people to listen to our fucking band. Um, and it actually worked. It actually worked pretty well. We made it out of things we had gotten at Home Depot, and it had speakers on it, and it had a little video screen that you could watch our skits and videos and whatnot. Um, and it played our music, and we uh, did it all over the place, man. We did it at Trauma, Comfest, 
Good luck to the circuit. We'll play tomorrow. New York City. Please God pinch his nipple. Mondo Marikin, uh, he thought up the Robotron 5000. Salvatore made the Robotron 5000. I mean, we had lines of people lining up to get their picture taken, and lots of those people, especially at Comfest, were ladies with their uh, their breasts out. And you know, people people were very sexually attracted to Robotron. Robotron could fuck. And there's some things I can't tell you about with the Robotron. There's some things I just can't tell you. Sorry about that. There are such things as cult secrets. Robotron 5000 was not the original Robotron. There was also a Robotron 3000. But we had Robotron 3000 made out of boxes and it got beaten up by drunk people so much. So anyways, Robotron got really, really popular. Robotron 5000 got invited onto America's Got Talent. There you go. That's all you get. That's it. Oh, that's it. That sucks. Well, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Don't go have a seat the whole time. They're actually really gangly. these tight spaces into some place we don't know. Just saying, if you have an intuition, tell us now and we'll leave. And uh, actually made it on television. You know, Robotron became famous and uh, kind of forgot about us. After, after Robotron got big, he kind of stopped promoting the band and sort of just wouldn't return my calls. It's kind of bullshit, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, fuck Robotron, actually. Yeah, fuck him right in the metal ass. Salvatore Electrical Circus, what was it like uh, with, with Robotron on television? Hey, I'm pissing here. Get, get out. Yeah, yeah.